Hi everyone. This video is about measurement conversion, or going back and forth between different measurements such as kilometers, meters, centimeters, or millimeters. So here are some examples of how you would use this. So first of all, we need to know the range of measurement. So we need to know what it is from biggest to smallest. So the way to help us remember that is our favorite sentence, ketchup helps destroy my delicious chocolate milk. Or if your mom and dad show you another way, King Henry died, mother didn't care much. Either way, whatever sentence you remember, it will help you remember the order of our measurements. First, our K, ketchup, stands for kilometers. H stands for hectometers, which we don't use very much. D is decameters. M is meters. The other D is decimeters. C, centimeters. And our other M, millimeters. And for our purposes in elementary school, we're only working right now with millimeters, centimeters, decimeters, meters, and kilometers. But we need to know that the other two exist because we have to work with them. So let's look at some examples of how you would use this. So starting with six kilometers equals how many centimeters? So using this, we have our six as a whole number, and I'm gonna write it again over here. The reason why I wanna write it again is if I start moving my decimal, I don't wanna run into the letters because it might be hard for me to understand what I'm writing. So I'm gonna write it separately so it's nice and clear and I have a lot of room. Starting with my six, I'm going to look back at my letters to help me remember which way I'm going. And I realize I'm starting at kilometers. So I underline here starting at kilometers, and then I want to see where I'm going, which is centimeters. So I'm counting how many jumps am I making to go from kilometers to centimeters. So I count. One, two, three, four, five. Five jumps to get to centimeters. Notice how I'm underlining where I'm starting and I'm very clearly marking where I'm going so I could see exactly how many jumps I have. So coming back over here, I'm going back to my six. And what are the jumps? Well, remember that the jumps are the decimals that are moving places. And if you want to be more specific in terms of what kind of math are you doing, remember that you're making the number bigger so you are multiplying. So every time it goes this way, you're multiplying, this way dividing. And we know that already that our trick for multiplying and dividing by tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. So because this is a whole number, we know our decimal is going right after the six, and that is what it's moving. And we know it's moving five places. So we're gonna move, and again, we're moving to the right because that is exactly the direction I went when I was doing it up here. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five. The decimal's here now, not here anymore. Now I have all these empty spaces, which I know I can't actually leave, but every time, remember, I see an empty space, I'm going to add a zero. Two, three, four, five. Now that that's a little messy now, so but I can still see exactly how many zeros I have, so I could do my proper line. Now, if you do an assignment where the line is really small like this and you have a lot of zeros to fit in, you could always write it on the top here. But I'm going to write the answer down here so I can see it nice and clear. So I have three zeros. I'm going to leave a space. So 600,000. Coming back over here. I know there are 600,000 centimeters in a kilometer. Stay tuned for another video where we're going to talk about what to do 
when the decimal is already in the measurement.